Hello everybody, I'm Nathan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a landscape photographer from Brisbane, if you're new to my channel. This afternoon I am out at the beautiful Lake Sampson Vale to shoot the sunset. So hopefully we can get some nice shots today. I've had a little bit of a walk around the lake, not too far, but I found a spot with a really great, what I think might be a really great composition if we get a bit of light this afternoon. Sort of facing out almost west, uh, well mostly west, with a bit of a couple of peaks and some mountains in the background across the lake. So hopefully that can get a nice shot. I'm more, I might also throw the pano camera on and just have a look and see if there's a composition. There may not be with such as wide angle lens, it just might be too much and the mountains might be too far away, but I'll have a bit of a look. I've got plenty of time to play around, so let's just see what we can find. Well, having a bit of a play around, there's definitely, I think, a composition with the pano camera. I might need to go get the tripod slightly closer to the water, but that's okay, just to get rid of, because it might get some of this bank in here, which isn't very nice. It will get some of the bank over there, which is okay, because it's uh, nice and green. But that mountain out there in the distance will be right in the center of the frame. Then we'll just come across here and we'll get some of those trees on that opposite bank. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment for a composition with this camera. I haven't loaded any film in yet. I'm not going to for a little while because I've still got to decide what film to use. Um, I brought some slide film, some both Fuji Chrome, Velvia 50 and 100. I don't think I'll use either of those though. There is going to be a lot of dynamic range, I think. If some of those high clouds really light up with color, it might be worth it. But for now, I'm thinking probably not. So I did bring some Fuji Pro 160 NS color film. That's my favorite color negative film, if you didn't realize that. And I also brought um, an expired roll, but some Fuji across 100 black and white. I may or may not use that. I don't shoot a great deal of black and white and I do want to shoot some more, but if we get a bit of color, the Fuji Pro is going to be the way to go. So I'll figure that out soon. In the meantime, I might just take this off, pop the GFX on and have a bit of a play around with possible compositions. So now I've got the GFX on the tripod with the 250mm Hasselblad lens. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a look around here and see what we've got. I've just thrown in a three stop graduated neutral density filter, just because the sky is very bright with how much light there is about. So I'm just gonna do a little panorama with that in to see how it looks. So I've just done seven shots. It is, I'd probably usually do six, but it's a bit hard to see my back screen. So I think I was leaving a bit more overlapping than normal. So that might look nice black and white. Hopefully that neutral density filter has brought down the sky a little bit. I'm still nowhere near sunset. I'm still an hour out, so it should start to get pretty nice soon. to be quite a lot of storms around today or this evening and it is starting to build up out to the west there so hopefully that doesn't ruin our sunset but for the meantime I think it's time to just kick back a little bit and just wait for the light and see what happens. I've just noticed in a dead tree just in the lake there there's this bird's nest with a couple of little chicks so I've just got focus on it. I might turn my timer off so that uh, I can just, when the chick pops its head up, I can just grab a shot of it. So we're just, something I just, great that I just found while I'm waiting for that light. So let's just keep an eye on it. There was some great backlighting on it before, but the sun's just sort of ducked behind one of those heavy clouds. So as you can see, the sun is just there in sort of top left of frame. We're still a little bit away from sunset. But look at these storm clouds that have come in. Or coming in. It's wonderful, they're beautiful.
So as anyone who would know me might have guessed, I ended up loading the Fuji Pro 160. I f it is my favorite color negative film, but I also feel that it's just gonna suit the scene best today. And it's a little bit easier to work with with regards to light than the slide film. And it's just, I don't think there's anything interesting here in terms of, of black and white. So I've taken a couple of meter readings and I'm gonna, and I had a stop difference between a few different areas. So I'm gonna shoot it at half a second today at F32. I just wanna finalize my composition. I think I'm pretty happy with it. This camera can be a bit tricky with composition. So I just wanna have a bit of a fiddle and make sure it's good and we'll get this exposure going. So I've just realized that in my rush, because it was a bit of a last minute trip. I didn't just forget the film magazine for the Hasselblad. I also forgot to bring a cable release. So I'm gonna to have to just try and use the shutter release button up the top here and just try and be really, really still. So I'm set at F32, half a second. I've got focus and I'm happy with my composition. I'm getting some of the sticks in the water over here and over here. It's not really crazy foreground interest, but it's better than nothing. And I've got the mountain in the middle Hopefully we'll get a bit of that atmosphere over there before it disappears. And I'm just gonna try not to move at all and keep this very steady. Cocked the shutter, here we go. Hopefully because of the size of the camera and the fact I am on a tripod, that is okay. I am going to try and be really clever and go for a, another, do that exposure again at one second, just cause the light may have changed since I metered it. All right. So that's my panorama frames for the minute, but it might be time to think about seeing if there's a composition with the GFX, although the light is disappearing. So I did take a few shots earlier um, I just didn't record them. A few of the birds over here and just a couple, trying to get a couple of the atmosphere of the clouds there. A couple of, um, a panorama actually of the clouds. We'll see how that looks. But I'll just hang around for a little bit and see what happens with this light. Okay, so I've put the film camera away. I did get those, that one shot. I did have a bit of a look to see if there's anything else, but I don't really think there is. So I've just thrown on the 50 mil and my Koken eight stop filter. Sorry, I'm, I seem a bit confused. I'm just rushing a lot at the moment because the color's gonna disappear real quick. I just wanna get a nice long exposure. Just gonna try and get my autofocus point on. So I've got 13 seconds at F16 and ISO 100. That's going now. I should get a nice smoothed out effect on the water because of the long exposure. And it might be a nice shot. Might go for a 20 second. Because I think, I don't think that's gonna lose the highlights and just get me, make it a bit easier to get those shadow details. The color has disappeared a little bit, but there is still some there, so it's not too bad. Okay, that exposure has just finished. And yeah, it's nice and silky smooth. Well, I think I'm glad I did hang around a bit. I've got some color coming now. The sun's sort of dropping a bit below the clouds. Now I wanna try and do a panorama. Again, I know I'm doing a few of those today, but with this color, I might even switch out this filter for the three stop. So the reason I'm switching to the three stop is it's just very dark with the uh, eight stop on. So here is some of that color I'm seeing. Just looking out towards the lake, you can see where the sun is. And as we pan around, just some of those nice colors. I'm actually pretty happy to be here right now. I'm gonna go for two and a half seconds and see how I go. Okay, five frame panorama. 
just getting some of that really nice color sort of from oranges over one end across to sort of purples at the other that's pretty nice And we're starting to run out of light, so I will have to head off soon. So I just had some lightning out behind the mountain. Unfortunately, I didn't get it in my shot. So I've just got the camera shooting some intervals while I try and start to pack up things a little bit. So if I'm really lucky, I might get another flash of lightning while I'm shooting. I haven't seen any more. I've heard a bit of thunder around, but I haven't seen any lightning. There's a tiny little bit of red still out, out there. I'll see how it goes. If it works, it might be cool. If not, so be it. This is definitely it for me, so I'm gonna pack up in a minute. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my video. If you've made it all the, way, all the way to the end, I really, really appreciate it. Please give me a like, a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you do have any questions or comment or feedback, feel free to leave them below. I really, really do love that. If you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching again today. I can't wait to see you again soon.